still working there. Shutter speed is fine. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely gonna be one of those iPhones you could run this whole beta series on if you want when the public arrives, for sure. It is a little warm in the back, but I'm also, you know, I'm gonna pause that. I'm also downloading a game. I'm also doing a bunch of stuff on here really rapidly. So it's not something you would probably do. Still holding at that 93%. So battery doesn't seem to be a major issue here on iOS 16 for the iPhone 11. iPhone 11 has always been a great battery phone. And I'm glad to see that it doesn't look like it's hurting it too bad, which means that you're gonna continue to have good battery life on the iPhone 11 this year. All right guys, so here is our final Geekbench score here. You can see the single 1325, 3362 on the multi-core. So the single core is actually better on the iPhone 11 with iOS 16 than your average iPhone 11 running 15. So we go over to multi-core it's also better so all this like positive praise I've been giving it is showing up here in the synthetic benchmarks as well this is actually performing better on iOS 16 and that's kind of strange because none of my other phones actually performed better here on this initial developer beta one so the future is very bright for the iPhone 11 taking a look at that battery this thing went down 2% Attest to that's probably because of the Geekbench 5 test that's really pushing the phone and it only dropped two percent the whole freaking video so the future is bright if you want to download this iOS 16 update when the public beta does arrive if you want to try it out it's